Hi, I'm Grace Doritu and I'm here at the Blue Coat. The ARC refers to a project I did in 2017 called the ARC Centre for Interdisciplinary Experimentation. The ARC took place in the migrant suburbs of Paris in the summer of 2017 when I invited scientists, artists, gardeners, economists and spiritual practitioners to come and start an off-grid community in an urban setting. The ARC unfolded over a period of eight days uh, where we lived and worked together. Um, in the mornings we would have spiritual practice and we'd also have workshops um, by the academics. For example, we had a scientist from Ecuador, from the Amazon, and he was explaining about what's happening with indigenous communities there. And then in the afternoon, we would work on our costumes together. So this is also academics and scientists, people that, that normally make art, working with artists together. And the idea was that it was a holistic project. So also what we ate was really important. So I'd found a chef to come in and work on making an amazing menu of vegan, a verdict, um, all, all types of cultural foods that would enhance the, the knowledge that we would be working. So with mind, body and spirit working together, let's say. And so this is really important for the conceptual framework, uh, which is actually inspired by um, the yoga um, chakra system. And so you can find more details, or details about this on um, the website. There's an extensive uh, website, um, it's called artcentrexperiment.com and there you can see all the archive of all the talks, uh, all the recipes, all the meditation classes, all the data, because we had a sociologist, we had a biologist and an economist. So you can read much more about it in depth and yeah, see if you get something out of it. So at the end of the week, because all week we were off grid, uh, we opened up to the public and we in fact did a protest um, kind of parade about this idea of reverse Darwinism. So this idea of bringing extinct animals back to life, that's what all the costumes and the protest signs are about. And we did it, um, the arc took place in the suburbs of Paris, so in a migrant area called Aubervilliers. Um, so there's a lot of Moroccan, Algerian and Sudanese migrants that live there. But also it's, um, the mayor of that commune is socialist, um, communist. So they're quite experimental anyway. So we went onto the streets and we met all the families and the kids and stuff in the park. And then we brought them back to the art centre for a barbecue. And then the next day we had academic roundtables. And we were talking about things like uh, capitalism and ecology, um, spirituality and economics, community and culture. And this was a way of um, sharing what we found out ourselves as a closed group with the wider public. I was interested in visiting, revisiting the ARC at Blue Coat because of the extensive history that Blue Coat has of working with local and experimental communities, um, whether that's alternative communities or you could say more political protest movements. Um, I'm happy for the arts to be part of that important historic art, historic lineage that the Blue Coat's been researching and working with. People can expect to see when they come to the Blue Coat, let's say remnants uh, from the project. So the process based remnants like the costumes that we made, the masks that we made, sculptures. But you can also see films that I have done myself um, of my own research of living in communities. So I've lived in a lot of different types of communities, monasteries, uh, forest communities, permaculture, the Hare Krishnas, um, other, other Buddhist communities in the UK and abroad. And you can see films relating to this research here. I guess the message for audiences is that I hope people get inspired to perhaps want to start their own community in some sort of way, whether that's in a rural setting or an urban setting. I think it's important for people to engage in these ideas about ecology and capitalism and different ways of living, especially in this time of scarcity and um, ecological crisis. I think that would be great if people you know, were inspired to do that. And 
For now, we have a new um, publication, the op publication. It's a mini publication, and hopefully this will inspire people because the ARC is kind of like a test model for living off-grid in an urban setting. So we've got like essays in here, we've got recipes, we've got spiritual practices and scientific data relating to the project. So this is available at Blue Coat as well.